if you're a marketer watching this video and you're trying to figure out how to reach the audience that's on mobile, how are the new analytics compared with the, the, the very legacy analytics? How do, you, how do you work with them together? You've got some thoughts. Well, on that. we're definitely in the middle of a tipping point. And mobile uh, marketing, mobile uh, analytics have come a long way in a short period of time, and they're going to go even further. And everything we're seeing here at Mobile, like at Mobileomics, proves that. Um, what I'm seeing from an analytical point of view is not all the methods and techniques and tricks and tools have caught up. So my focus and, and um, really what I encourage people to think about is the basics right now. Um, if you can do the basics very, very well, you can generate return on investment. And the basics are, who are my customer? How do I communicate them? What's the most effective form of copy and creative to, to get through and get through the message? And what's working to drive campaign success? If you can answer those basics, uh, you're in good shape. Now, the road ahead is really exciting and there's way more that we can do, perhaps around audience targeting, perhaps around location. Um, but for now, it's, we're at the tipping point where folks on the basics and deliver real return on investment. We see a tremendous amount of potential in mobile video. I would imagine a treasure trove of analytics too. For sure. Now, uh, just because someone begins to watch a video, um, there's an interesting behavior that we get from the analytics if they finish the video. Mm -hmm. More importantly, if they watch it again, mm -hmm. and then of course if they share it, and if you can track of the fact that they may even have done a response video. Um, what are you excited about when you take a look in the treasure trove of mobile video analytics? What's exciting to you? Well, before I give you the analytical question, I'll give you the, uh, the marketer's answer, so I should say. Uh, video is all about creative. If you can create a compelling, uh, relevant, engaging video, uh, that's going to be better, right? Nothing beats great creative, and it's really important to, to, to remember that. When you go past that, the treasure trove, as you say, of, of video consumption, it's just phenomenal. Um, looking at the right length of video, looking at the right message timing, uh, looking at the right shareability. Uh, we take a lot of time to look at um, how people share and engage with content uh, and video is a perfect example of that because if, if we're creating content that is unique and perhaps amusing or perhaps compelling it's going to be more shared and ultimately shared stories and shared messages are going to go even further um, but you rightly say, say a lot of the mechanics of video consumption and the data points are very very valuable uh, and they can help really fine-tune the capabilities to, to execute good video marketing. Live videos having an explosion, it, let's just call it that. Um, and um, it's just easier to watch live video. Now it's easier to broadcast live video mm -hmm. with Periscope and the like. Yeah. Um, what it, from your perspective, what do you think that means, if it means anything? That's such a huge opportunity, it, and it's not just Periscope, I mean, Snapchat as a channel now has video opportunities, Instagram, Vine, I mean, there's so many opportunities across all social platforms, which are 99% mobile consumed. I put a stat up yesterday in my, my session where 99% of people access Instagram through a mobile phone. Um, so all of these video opportunities are phenomenal. I think the trick is for advertisers and marketers, how do you create the content in there that's relevant and um, human? I think a lot of the time you can create very slick celebrity-led content or advertiser-led content, but it's the human stories that people love to watch in there. It's where people are creating their own uh, blogs and their own uh, content. And that's hard to replicate. So something we did as an agency recently with Taco Bell with the Breakfast Defectors campaign was we seeded, we sought out about 500 um, uh, internet stars, uh, bloggers, vloggers, and, and people that are generating lots and lots of content. And we just made them very aware of the campaign. We sent them a nice package, we told them what we we're doing, gave them some ability to go and try out the product at Taco Bell, and see if they were willing to, to, to create some content. A large number of those guys actually created the content of unboxing the, the package we sent them, the trip to Taco Bell, and that was our attempt to get unique human video content, not just advertising messages into the, uh, into the atmosphere.